So good, good afternoon and good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm very pleased to join the webinar meeting uh, for the uh, One Country, One Commodity, OCOC, that organized by the FAO uh, Regional Office. Thank you for allowing me to introduce the OVOP in Cambodia. Uh, one is the background of the OVOP movement in Cambodia. Uh, second, uh, my presentation is the three key principles of OVOP movement. Uh, number three is the vision of the Cambodian OVOP movement. And uh, number four is the structure of the national and subnational of the OVOP movement in Cambodia. At number five, I'm talking about the OVOP uh, product definition. As you already know that uh, uh, each country, if we look at the local product, have so many kind, uh, many different kinds of the product. So in here, uh, we will identify some of the key products in the OVOP movement. Uh, number six, I'm talking about the uh, regulation framework, or we can call it like the enabling environment to support the OVOP implementation. And number seven, we will classify the group product in the OVOP context of Cambodia. And number eight is the lesson learned that we are implementing this OVOP in Cambodia. So actually, the uh, characteristic of the local product in the concept-based OVOP approach have been uh, happened in Cambodia a long time ago. Uh, such as like in one of the province in the north east, we have one province they produce the we call it clay product. That means uh, few community in their uh, in their province they uh, doing the business clay product. So many uh, generations, you know, until now it's still. Uh, do it by the, the uh, young generation in the family. So that's why we consider that OVOP approach uh, not just only um, be learning from Japan, but if you look at our uh, history, it's some province already uh, do it, uh, the village product like that. Okay, so starting from 2001, uh, Cambodian delegation led by our Prime Minister uh, we had the state visit to Japan, and on that time, the delegation also had a chance to visit the Waita prefecture and to see and learn about the OVOP in their provinces. So now let's talk about the uh, former organization in, in, in Cambodia uh, in the context of the OVOP. Uh, based on the agricultural cooperative law in 2013, at the moment we have uh, 1,200 agriculture cooperative in the country. Uh, and then we have approximately around uh, 13,000 farmer organizations that register at the Ministry of Agriculture. And we have uh, 662 farmer associations that register at the MOI. But if you are doing the business, uh, you have to register another one at the Ministry of Commerce. So if they run the operational agriculture business. Uh, for farmer community, we have uh, around 1,700 uh, community. That one include the farmer water use group and irrigation system. Uh, for the farmer income, uh, we got the uh, roughly information. It's about 1,200 uh, US dollar per year. But the Ministry of Agriculture, they have a target in 2030, it's about uh, 2000 US per year. And the key three principles of uh, this uh, OVOP, that is the human resources development. I think this one is very important in the key principle or in the OVOP uh, concept in, in Cambodia as well as in other countries as well, I believe. So uh, we, we need to build the capacity, not only the community, but also at the uh, government employee or OVOP staff at national and subnational uh, level. I think the reason of our OVOP movement in Cambodia, we are uh, expect to contribute the implementation of the national strategy for poverty reduction that we are uh, addressing to the local people for uh, better off in the family by uh, mobilizing local economic potential of the products and services at the community. And number two, our vision is to help the people to feel confident and sell, sell, sell help and satisfaction and pride 
in producing goods and services by their own at the community. And number three, we be, believe that our further aim of the OVOP movement is to contribute to sustainable economic development in the country. That the government has said that Cambodian uh, country will become the higher middle income country by 2030 and high income country by 2050. So it's like I'm solving the organ, uh, organ, organizational structure of the OVOP movement. So as I said in before, right now the Prime Minister is not the chairman anymore. He is the honorable chair of the National OVOP Committee. And Excellency Deputy Prime Minister Yom Cheli, uh, the chairman of the Council for Agricultural and Rural Development, we call CARD. Uh, he also appointed as the chairman of the OVOP National Committee. Yeah. And uh, the first deputy of the uh, National Committee, uh, that is the Minister of Commerce, is the, vice, uh, the first vice chairman. And at the above, uh, I mean that in the level of the uh, chairman and vice chairman, we have uh, uh, some of the senior, uh, senior staff of the government as the vice chairman also, but the Minister of Commerce is the first vice chairman of this committee. From left side, uh, we have 16 ministry and five institutions and 25 provincial governor as the member of the OVOP National Committee. Uh, below, below that one, we also have the OVOP task force, but OVOP task force here, we are not created all of the 16 ministry or five institutions like that. So we select key ministry that becomes the, the secretariat of OVOP working more, uh, more often, then we ask them to create the OVOP task work. Mm. So this is from left side of the line ministry. From right side, we have the OVOP secretariat general, that is my position in here. And we have four departments under the secretariat general. We have the finance admin, we have the uh, research and development, we have marketing, and standard, and we had the public relations. So this is the department level and the uh, secretary, uh, secretariat general of the OVOP. At provincial level, uh, Cambodian, we have uh, one municipality and 24 provinces. Uh, one municipality and 24 provinces, we uh, all that province and municipality, we have the OVOP committee. But, uh, if we talk about the one village, it's not mean one village have to do the one product like that. It could be two, three, or one, or four, or five villages that they can produce very unique product in their community. So this is one of the definition of the OVOP that we refer. And second one, the product reflect to ancient or modern culture. And number three, the, that product need to be uh, have the, you know, uh, possible to strengthening and to expanding in the quality, quality, and body to create the value added for the price of the product. And the last one, if we, if we call the OVOP product, it means that product have to be registered in the OVOP system and endorsed by the OVOP National Committee. When a uh, product group for the OVOP, one is the food and beverage, like the local whiskey made by banana, passion, etc. We ask, uh, number two, uh, the product we classify in souvenir product like seal, handmade, bamboo, wood, stone, etc. And art craft like the clay. Uh, number three, we talk about the herbal and supplementary food that also part of the local product. Uh, that is under uh, working closely with Ministry of Health and textile like seal, cotton, or chroma. So number five is the furniture like the bamboo, rattan wood, and number six is services like homestay, eco-tourism site, etc. And number seven is domestic or decoration. So I show you, this is the picture of some of the local products that I um, uh, choose some of the uh, uh, beautiful products to show you. Uh, what is the uh, enabling environment that we support OVOP implementation in Cambodia? So we have the royal decree, we have the sub decree, we have the decision of establishment of OVOP National Committee. Actually, the establishment of OVOP National Committee should be signed by the king. 
So that's one we call royal decree. Why, you know, in order to promote the local product, the government have uh, issued the, uh, we call it the, uh, the uh, decision to establish the national day of the promoting Cambodian made product in 9 April every year. So uh, actually in April 13, that is the year for us to celebrate a Khmer New Year, Cambodian New Year. So that's why uh, we want to uh, organize the National Day uh, to promote the Cambodian made product on 9 April. So what is the key lesson learned of the implementation? So I think that uh, what is the uh, most important that we learn is the coordination mechanism at the national and sub-national. You know, the national committee is not the, uh, the ministry. We are uh, the policy body. We are the coordination body. And we are uh, providing some of the evidence base. The, the key lesson learned number two, that is the capacity development <clears throat> that we have to uh, build for our national team and our sub-national team at, mean, uh, at the OVOP provincial committee. Uh, number three, the partnership. I think uh, partnership is very important that uh, we are not looking for the government side, but we also looking partnership with the academic side, with the Royal uh, Agriculture University, you know, Royal Academy of Cambodia and Cambodian Technology Institute, something like that. That, that, that is the uh, academic uh, institution that we need to, uh, to be partner with them and invite them to uh, uh, participate in the OVOP movement. Uh, beside that one, we also looking for the private sector participation. So uh, we have the contract with the, not contract, I mean that uh, MOU with the Super Ed Technology is the local company that they're doing business by the, uh, by the online. So we invite them to participate to partnership with us. We also have the partnership with the local media, even the state-owned media or the private media. So number four, we stand on firmly to the three key principles that I already mentioned in OVOP global uh, key principle that is in globally, agriculturally, cell reliant, human resources development. And number four, we had the political support to the OVOP implementation, you know, uh, such as like the government have decided to establish the national day for uh, promotion of the Cambodian made product in 9 April every year. So this is one of the key uh, key element that uh, political support to the OBOP implementation in Cambodia. And the last one of the key lesson learned, we are uh, finding the uh, OBOP product, uh, I mean that market for OB product. So in doing that one, we organize yearly of the uh, uh, exhibition product through the National Day. And also we have the uh, joining with the Ministry of Commerce for distribution as well. Uh, we recommend them to solve the challenges that we face during the implementation. So to solve that one, I think the capacity development to OVOP staff is very important. Yeah, not just only uh, community, but also at yeah, national team and sub-national team. Uh, for community training, I think the skill training to local community is also uh, uh, important, including uh, in, uh, information, uh, communication, and technology, ICT. Uh, number three, the uh, challenges that we face, that is the local government commitment and facilitation. I think uh, financial resources is very uh, important for SME or for agriculture uh, producer or non-agriculture producer. So in order to that one, besides of the uh, national budget to support the OVOP uh, national committee or some national committee to uh, the financial partnership with the private sector or other key or the key stakeholder is very important for improving uh, product. Uh, number five, uh, improving our product and services in terms of quality and safety. So this is uh, very important to respond to the uh, safety food or good quality that we can comp uh, competition in the uh, domestic market or international market in, in the context of the free market uh, system. Uh, 
the number six is promotion of value chain for OVLP product. Uh, that means the consideration mostly agriculture marketing activity that we link linkages through the production, processing, packaging, storage, and market-based uh, places in local and overseas uh, market. And the last one is the monitoring uh, research uh, development for innovation idea to the local community. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.